today's video, I'm doing another pass over the D3D11 example that I started last time. The main goal of this pass is to get things ready so I can start plugging them into the abstraction layer. In particular, I want to make sure that the naming scheme matches my naming scheme everywhere. I want to make sure that any extraneous details that aren't relevant to what I'm abstracting right now are not a part of the example when I go to copy paste it. And I want to make sure it's just generally structured the same way that the OpenGL one was in terms of things like the error flow and how things were broken up so that I have as much as possible a one-to-one -one correspondence. There will obviously be differences at the details of the API, but where I find the similarities, that will give me something that I can abstract and generalize together into this new layer that we're building. All right, let's get started. First, I go for the easiest step here, which is just renaming anything that doesn't match my naming scheme. Now, from reading the docs, I learned that there are these things called swap chains that need to be tied to a single windows. So if I'm going to support a multi-window render setup eventually, I'm going to want to be able to create a swap chain for each window. I also learned from the docs that I'm not going to want multiple devices because a device is the thing you use to create resources like buffers and textures and so on. And I'm going to want to be able to share those between windows. When I create a, a program with multiple windows, what I generally want is the ability to say, I'm going to send the resources that are going to be relevant to all of my rendering in one context, essentially, whatever that means for the given API. And then I'm going to want to go to each window and render to that window using the resources that were set up. Right. So I'm going to want one device and multiple swap chains. Now, what that means, is I need to change something from the example I got because the example I got used a helper function that creates a device and a swap chain in one call. And I'm going to want to split that up. There are calls for creating just the device and then creating a swap chain from that device. It's a little bit confusing because if you read the docs, it actually says that you do it the other way around at certain spots. It says something about creating a device from a swap chain. I don't really know what that's about, but the type signatures in the actual function calls for create device and create swap chain show you what you need to do in a way that makes sense. If you ignore the weird parts of the docs, the, the, the actual signatures don't lie. And when I set up the, the create device and create swap chain as two separate calls, everything kept working just as it was before. <laughs> From there, the rest of this is just organizing things and doing that error handling style that I did in the OpenGL example to get everything stylistically ready to go and plug into that abstraction layer. So there's not a whole lot to comment on here. So I've already commented on the exact same sort of concept in the OpenGL case. So while I'm going to let this play to the end and I'll see you guys next time.